Great camera trick. If I hold it up here, you can't see my double chin. It's March 15th, 2016, and it's a big milestone day for me personally. I'm gonna let this idiot tell you why. That's a really nice mustache you got there. It's looking good. Tonight I'm gonna have the last smoke ever in my office. This is here, right there, will be hopefully the last cigarette I ever smoked in this place. Come on, Robbie. Come on, Robbie, indeed. That really was a terrible mustache. Something needed to change. Getting rid of that dirt squirrel under my nose was an easy fix. Stopping that habit that I had done for way too long, that I was even doing in my office, in my place of work. It's disgusting. Needed to stop. Let's take a look at some stats from my smoking career. Since I began to smoke, I would say the average price per pack has been $10 per. There are either 20 or 25 cigarettes per pack, which is no coincidence. The amount of nicotine per cigarette has been carefully crafted by the tobacco companies to make sure your nicotine fix expires after approximately 45 minutes, which is why most smokers go through a pack a day. I unfortunately smoked for 25 years. 30 years? 33 years. That means I've stopped that train. Sunday, November 15, 2015, and I'm about to quit smoking. I'm taking the Alan Carr seminar today, and I'm gonna do it. I have to do it. First break of the Alan Carr seminar to quit smoking. I really hope that by the fifth break, when I have my final cigarette, I'm done. One guy. Gets up on break, he's relaxed, he's up there. The non-smoker is down there. Uh, so he has a smoke, and all it does is get him back to where the non-smoker already is. <laughs> this amazing fellow talked about how we've been brainwashed our whole life, and uh, the ball and chain that smoking is. And the brainwashing is interesting how they don't market to adults, because why would they market to adults? Uh, we're you know, either smokers or not smokers, so they market to kids, and he gave a bunch of examples of movies. I thought that was fascinating. And the second is the ball and chain of how we will, you know, we all, we all love our families, and how with smoking, we'll do anything to get away from them for a little bit to be able to go have a cigarette. And it really is a terrible, terrible addiction. And that's all it is, it's just a nicotine addiction. The main point of this is that compared to willpower, willpower you feel like you're giving something up. And that obviously never works, you always feel like you're missing something. This is the exact opposite, and it's that you're not giving up anything. And by not giving up anything, of course, you don't feel like you know, that you're missing something. And, um, so one of the ways to figure that out is draw a T graph with half of it being the benefits of smoking and the benefits of not smoking. And one side will obviously grow and keep growing and keep growing and there really is nothing to put on the other side. And that's the justification that you really aren't giving anything up. seen me smoke until right now. I'm sorry guys. 
that you had to see that, but this will be my last final cigarette. After this, I will be a non-smoker. Not a recovering smoker, a non-smoker. I'm just gonna have this by myself now, and um, that's it. I love you guys.